we are here to change the world, to save the world. How? Planting trees. <laughs> trees we plant and the more food we grow, the better the future will be for everybody. The secret to that is, is forest, food forest, because trees regulate the carbon, they regulate the water, they regulate the temperature, they regulate the oxygen, they give us food, building materials, medicine, trees and plants. So in a diverse polyculture forest system we can have in a very small space an enormous production and a great abundance of all the things that we need to live as human beings. So this is right at the beginning now and we're just converting this, uh, these wild bushes and this, this wild space into a productive, abundant landscape, edible landscape, a forest garden. Everybody take their own square meter uh -huh. and pick their own seed and then make up a system of three things that grow in the, together cooperatively. So yeah. one is the climber, one is the stick, and one is the ground. So yeah. Emilia, Lovely. that's your square meter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Moran, that's yeah. your square meter. <laughs> My first square meter. Wow. Thank this. you so much. So oh. organize your seeds first. Put yeah. all the climbers in one pile. Yes. Oh, nice. This is like popcorn. This is ah. <laughs> How cool is this? Yeah. So, flowers, melons, and then uh, corn. Mm -hmm and peas. Need to be in their own space a little bit? Just just do it as Everywhere. random as possible. In your the seed only needs to be two to three times its diameter under the soil. It doesn't need to be deep. So it, so it just needs to be like this. Okay, okay. That's all. Are you also covering? Just enough. Okay. Just enough. Stroke the soil. Give the soil some love. Mm. Fat honey. <laughs> Good girl, honey. Good wow. Is it alright for the climbers, the beans and stuff, that they're not soaked first? Yeah. It's like wet enough? Yeah, it's wet enough. Okay. This way. Like just the, the melons? Yeah, how many no more than two. two in this space, maximum. And I want to say something. I have put my three different. Now I add some flowers or nothing? You can add some flowers if you want some flowers. Okay, and I want. Okay. Oh wow, this yeah, is also a seed, look. Yes. <laughs> it's a mix of the flowers. And this is uh, one of the first trees we planted. This is a walnut tree. We started one month ago. We've planted uh, maybe six or eight trees so far, made a few vegetable beds, and we need to make some natural construction, some sustainable structures, sustainable energy. So there's a lot of things happening at the same time, and we're just beginning to activate now with uh, people coming, making contributions. like go in this one and then we fill this one from this okay. one like this. and then the, the things the chickens don't eat goes over there and we bury it and we make the compost pit. Yeah? an open door policy so anybody who feels they want to contribute or create or get involved is welcome. Mm.
How you call this in English? This vegetable? Where it grows? What? Leek. You know? We ate it. And this was left. And now we put it just in here. And I start growing again. <laughs> I'm going to search today on the internet. And then I will find how to do uh, toothpaste, that you already know, soap, paper, and... Um, I think you can recycle old paper and make it yes, into Yes, that's good. You know this uh, cloth, uh, Muslim? Muslim? No, no not the religion. <laughs> it's spelled the same, but with an M on the end. Ah, and it's very fine. And you make like a, a screen. Uh, so yeah. you make um, like yeah. a frame and put it across. Yeah, he told also. And how, how do you make it? You can yeah. use like um, leaves, dried leaves and stuff yeah. like this, oh, dried yeah. grass. That's and good. you make like a mulch. Uh, like yeah. uh, You just soak it all in water. Oh, yes. And then um, oh. you kind of dip it in the water and it gets like a fine layer on it. Mm -hmm. And then you leave it to dry in the sun. But first you have to mash everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And with your feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When did you leave home? Uh, maybe three weeks ago. So I haven't been traveling that long. And what do you bring with you when you travel like this? Mm, I bring my top, my sleeping bag, two sets of clothes and something to sleep in. <laughs> uh, you don't want to bring too much because then you have to carry it all over the place. But uh, in these type of places, people are very sharing. And if there's anything you need, then you will sooner or later find someone with what you need. But the style of living is uh, very communal. Everyone, everyone does their part to help out. Uh, all the meals are cooked and eaten together. We share one fire between us. And this style of living I like a lot. It is almost like you uh, choose to live in a, in a family with people from all over the world. I think I will stay here a bit longer. It depends on how I'm feeling and what the weather is like. But I'd like to help them some more in building, building their dream. Because it's something that I support and I think it should happen all over the world. My wish is to, to spread the food, to spread the concepts, to spread the message through food and uh, showing people that you don't have to pay a lot of money for low quality food. You can have organic, high nutrient, very delicious food grown totally in harmony with nature and you can get it almost for free. Almost for free.